Hi, I'm Eric Gustafson, president of Spendthrift Farm. Hosting you here at the farm each year for our open houses is something we look forward to as we approach the breeding season. Due to gathering restrictions, that may not be possible this year. While we will miss you and look forward to the day we can have you back again, our team has done our best to replace that experience through this virtual stallion show. We hope you enjoy inspecting the stallions, starting with our reigning champion general sire, Into Mischief, sire of our 2020 Kentucky Derby winner, Authentic. Into Mischief has enjoyed what could be considered one of the most spectacular rises to stardom since his male line ancestor Stormcat towards the end of the last century. The champion sire of two year olds in 2018 and 2019, and the champion sire overall in 2019, he leads both tables again in 2020. Into Mischief is now charting a course towards becoming a sire of truly historic significance, and in 2020, he's had what might be called a career defining year. Signing a Kentucky Derby winner authentic, something Stormcat never achieved, as well as the spectacular Philly Gamine. These follow on from other such exciting runners as Kafevi, Golden Sense, Practical Joke, and Audible. It's likely though that the best for Into Mischief is yet to come, as he has several crops to run from what have been increasingly better mares. Malibu Moon has the distinction of being the leading sire son of AP Indy. He's particularly distinguished as a sire of class on dirt, with 17 grade one winners on that surface, superior to all but Tappet amongst active stallions. These runners include a Kentucky Derby winner, a champion two-year-old male, as well as the winners of such races as the Santa Anita Derby, the Florida Derby, the Acorn Stakes, the Coaching Club American Oaks, and a complete litany of America's top dirt races. Malibu Moon is now a rapidly rising broodmare sire, his daughters having produced more than 40 stakes winners, including champion Stellar Wind, the prolific Bella Fina, and three other grade one winners. His yearlings continue to attract the attention of major buyers at the sales, and given everything we've said, it's not surprising that Malibu Moon remains extremely popular. In fact, he's covered an average of 130 mares in each of the last two seasons. From the first crop of Into Mischief, Golden Sense has emulated his sire with a pair of millionaires, By My Standards and Mr. Money, in his very first crop. Golden Sense remains one of the most talented runners to represent Into Mischief. A graded winner at two, three, and four, he won or placed in 13 graded stakes, including a victory in the Santa Anita Derby and back-to-back -back triumphs in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Overall, from his first two crops, Golden Sense is already sire of more than 20 individual stakes horses, eight stakes winners, and in addition to By My Standards and Mr. Money, they include the graded stakes winning Wild Man Jack. What's more, by earnings, Golden Sense is the number one third season sire in the Northern Hemisphere, above such fabulous young stallions as Kingman and No Nay Never. Champion sprinter Matoli owned electrifying speed that he could carry a mile. Successful in seven black type events, Matoli won eight of his last nine starts, including a quartet of grade one events. They were the Churchill Down Stakes, the Forgo Handicap, which he took in track record time, the Metropolitan Handicap, and the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Matoli is by a grade one winning son of three-time champion sire Giants Causeway, and he's the fastest dirt sprinter from the Stormcat line at stud today. Matoli also has a speed-oriented distaff pedigree. His dam is by Indian Charlie, also the sire of Uncle Mo, and she's out of Glacken's Gal, an undefeated juvenile stakes winner and a graded stakes producer. A grade one winning sprinter, Jimmy Creed is by distorted humor out of the brilliant grade one winner Hooked on the Feeling and his half brother to three time grade one winner Pussycat Doll. He's been living up to his performances and pedigree and he's been amongst the leaders of his crop in every year at stud. 
So far, Jimmy Creed is represented by no less than 32 individual black type horses and 14 stakes winners, including the grade two scorers Kanthaka, Casa Creed, Spectator and King Jack. We should also note that his yearlings have realized up to half a million dollars in 2020. And with his best bred crops to run, Jimmy Creed looks to have an excellent chance of maintaining his momentum. Lord Nelson was a stakes winner at two, a graded winner at three, and ended an undefeated four-year-old season with three straight grade one victories. Particularly impressive is the six furlong clocking of 107.65, set in the six furlong Bing Crosby stakes, a time that is the fastest ever electronically recorded for the distance at Del Mar. In addition to underlining his brilliant pace, this performance also left no doubt that Lord Nelson is the fastest son of Sire of Sire's pulpit, also the Sire of Tappet, and very possibly the fastest representative of the AP Indy line at stud. Lord Nelson's dam, African Jade, is by seeking the gold out of Miss Linda, a champion and classic winner in Argentina, and successful in the grade one spinster stakes while racing in North America. Miss Linda is by Southern Halo, which means that African Jade is bred on the reverse cross to the very successful stallion More Than Ready. With these credentials, it's not surprising that Lord Nelson's first crop yearlings have been well received at the sales, impressing as an extremely even group. At the track, Cross Traffic was a thrilling front runner who went wire to wire to take the Whitney handicap and missed by just a nose in the Metropolitan handicap where he earned a 110 Bayer speed figure. A son of unbridled song out of the multiple grade one winning sprinter, Stop Traffic, Cross Traffic has made a tremendous start to his stud career. Champion freshman sire, he was represented by a first crop that produced six stakes winners, including champion two-year-old Philly Jaywalk, winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies and of the Frisette Stakes. His second crop is now three and includes the grade one classic place contender New York Traffic and Montauk Traffic, an open company stakes winner in New York. Maximus Mischief is a spectacular, undefeated two-year-old graded stakes winner by Inter Mischief. Maximus Mischief won three times as a juvenile, scoring by a total of 17 lengths and winning at five and a half, seven and nine furlongs. His graded stakes triumph came in the Remsen Stakes, where he earned a Bayer speed figure of 97, one of the highest ever achieved by a winner of that race. In addition, Maximus Mischief also owns the fastest buyer of any of Inter Mischief's many, many two-year-old stakes winners. Intriguingly, with regard to the distaff side of his pedigree, we can note that Maximus Mischief goes back to the taproot mare Thornapple, also tail female ancestress of Inter Mischief. A top-class racehorse at two and three, Brody's cause is by a champion sire and noted sire of sires, and is off to a great start with his first crop two-year-olds. At two, Brody's cause took the Breeders' Futurity, and he confirmed himself amongst the best of his generation with a third in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And at three, he had another important race, the Bluegrass Stakes. He is by three-time champion sire Giants Causeway, a very successful sire of sires, his dam was classic placed, and she is out of Sweet Roberta, a grade two winner who also ran second in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. The first crop by Brody's cause is now two, and they already include Sitting on Go, impressive winner of the grade three Iroquois stakes, and the grade two best pal stakes second, Gertha.
A prolific sprinter miler, Cinco Charlie is by Indian Charlie, also star of the hugely successful Uncle Mo. He's represented by his first crop two-year-olds in 2020 and is already a stakes sire. A stakes performer from five and a half to eight and a half furlongs and from two to four, Cinco Charlie won seven black type events, four of them including the Grade 3 Bashford Manor Stakes as a juvenile. In addition to being by the same sire as Uncle Mo, Cinco Charlie is also a three-quarters brother to the top class runners Buana Charlie and My Pal Charlie. Cinco Charlie's first crop are currently two-year-olds, and he's now among the top three freshman sires by individual winners. His first runners including stakes winner Hunt Singer and the stakes placed Angel Sassy. Cloud Computing is a classic winner by one of North America's most exciting young sires. Cloud Computing gained classic honours in the Preakness Stakes, in which he defeated both Kentucky Derby winner Always Dreaming and the champion two-year-old Colt, Classic Empire. Cloud Computing is by the distorted humour son McLean's Music, a horse who ran a towering 114 bear speed figure on his only start. Having begun his stud career at a very modest fee, McLean's music is already sire of cloud computing, the champagne stakes winner complexity, and this year's juvenile sensation, Jackie's Warrior. Cloud computing's dam, Quick Temper, is a graded stakes performer who is by AP Indy out of the grade one winning Halo America. Cloud computing's first crop are weanlings and they're inheriting their sire's good looks. A superior sprinter who could carry his speed, Colfront scored at graded stakes level at 6, 6.5, 7, 8 and 8.5 eight and furlongs. Remarkably, those victories came at five different racetracks and they include the Amsterdam Stakes at Saratoga and the $1.5 million Godolphin Mile. In addition, at 3, Colfront also ran a 107 Bayer speed figure the fastest of the year around one turn by a sophomore. By a Traverse Stakes winning son of Bernardini out of a mineshaft mare, Colfront has a unique pedigree, as he's inbred to AP and D through his only US Classic winning son and his only US Horse of the Year. Colfront comes from an excellent Moyglare stud family, and his third dam is a house to a Twilight Agenda. A grade one winner of over a million dollars, and is by Seattle Slew out of Grenzen, a top-class race mare who is ancestress of standouts on three continents. Smart Strike has built an enviable reputation as a sire of sires, with Curlin, Looking at Lucky and English Channel, all siring North American Classic winners. Dominus, a son of Smart Strike who won the Dwyer Stakes on dirt and the Bernard Brook Stakes on turf, is continuing that tradition. With 83 starters from his first three crops, he sired nearly 90% winners to runners, 15 stakes horses, and six stakes winners. The first crop sired by Dominus after the impressive performance by his initial juveniles are two-year-olds of 2020, and include Thin White Duke, winner of a pair of black type events, including the Funny Side Stakes at Saratoga, as well as the black type performers Wifire and Sweet Justice. With that record, it's no surprise that Spendthrift bills Dominus as Smart Strike's value sire. Free Drop Billy was an exceptionally talented and versatile juvenile. He broke his maiden over five and a half furlongs. He was graded placed at six and seven furlongs missing by just a length to the grade one winning sprinter Frenzy Fire in the Sanford Stakes and coming within a neck of taking the hopeful stakes. He then earned a grade one victory with a dominating performance in the eight and a half furlong Breeders Futurity, which he took by four lengths. Free Drop Billy is by Union Rags, one of the best of his crop at two and a classic winner at three. A son of Dixie Union, Union Rags has sired four grade one winners in his first two crops. Free Drop Billy is half-brother to the champion English three-year-old Hawkbill. His dam, Trenser, 
as a graded stakes place daughter of Giants Causeway out of the grade one winning Fapiano mare, Serapi. The third dam, Mokila, a stakes winning and grade one place daughter of In Reality, is half sister to champion sire Cozine and from a standout Tartan family developed by John Nehrude. Free Drop Billy delivered an extremely impressive first crop of foals this year, something borne out by the fact that he covered a bigger book of mares in 2020 than he did in his first season. Gormley, a grade one winner at two and three, Gormley is one of the most accomplished offspring of Malibu Moon, himself the most prolific stake siring son of AP Indy. And in addition to being a son of Malibu Moon, he's out of a stakes winning mare who is herself a daughter of Miss Mambo, a stakes winner and classic performer in Europe. Gormley gained his juvenile grade one in impressive style, defeating Klimt by three lengths for the front runner stakes and running a faster time than such as recent winners Nyquist and Game Winner, both champion two-year-olds. At three, Gormley added the Sham Stakes and the West Coast leading three-year-old event, the Santa Anita Derby. Gormley's first crop are now yearlings and have been very well received. His first yearling through the ring at Keeneland realized 270,000 and five of Gormley's yearlings have already made six figures. A grade one winner at two, More Spirit was a graded winner and grade one performer at three, and a spectacular grade one winner again at four. He gained a grade one win at two in the Los Alamitos Futurity. Successful the following year in the Robert B. Lewis Stakes, he also took second behind classic winner Exaggerator in the Santa Anita Derby. He added three more black type wins at four, including an awe-inspiring win in the Metropolitan Handicap a performance that earned a buyer of 117, the fastest it up to a mile in the US that year. More Spirit is by a grade one winning and multiple grade one siring son of the three-time champion sire, Giants Causeway. More Spirit's dam, I'm a Dixie Girl, was a multiple stakes winner at two, is out of I'm Out First, a four-time stakes winner who is a half sister to the dams of champion Stellar Wind and grade one winner, Great Hunter. With a trio of grade one winners to his name, Temple City is a proven source of quality available as stud fee that makes him true value for money. By Dynaformer, out of a house sister Malibu Moon, Temple City was fast enough to break his maiden first time out going six and a half furlongs on the main track off a 108 and change three quarters. And he was a graded winner and grade one place going a route on the turf. Temple City is already sire of such as Miss Temple City, winner of three grade one events, two against Colts. Of the two-time grade one winner Annals of Time, and of Bolo, winner of the grade one Shoemaker Mile Stakes, and two other graded events. Runners such as this stamp him as one of the top turf sires in North America. Given that he allies an impressive start to his stud career, to an exceptional physique and outstanding pedigree, it's no surprise that Temple City continues to draw the attention of a number of major breeders. Thanks for watching our virtual stallion show. When our shuttle stallions arrive and our new stallions come to stud, we'll follow up with another one for you. On behalf of Wayne Hughes and the entire team here at Spenthrift Farm, we wish you the best of luck for the upcoming breeding season.